Hey, what's going on guys? All right, so some people look at coding as way too narrow of a topic and it's actually a lot more general and broad than it is. So let's take a quick step back and explain coding and basically all of computer science in about seven minutes. Programs are made up of five things normally. We have variables, we have data structures, we have conditionals, we have loops, and we have functions. Just five easy things. So let's start with variables. Think of a variable like a parking spot and the data that you assign to a variable is a car that goes in that parking spot. So let's say we make a variable called name and name is gonna be the parking spot and the car is going to be the value, Chris. So now we have name and Chris. Variables can be all different types. Variables can be strings, which is, this is a string. Variables can, can be numbers. So if we do age, that variable is a number and variables can also be Boolean. So a Boolean is a true or false statement and like, is male equals true. So we can have a name variable as a string, we can have an age variable as a number, and we can have an is male as true. Boolean, number, string. Variables are actually really useful because you can reference them at any time, depending on the scope of where the variable is in. But let's not get to that right now. But if we have variables in this global state, we can come down here and console.log name. And we can use name here. And the best part about being able to use these variables anywhere in the code is it saves data so you don't have to keep retyping that data and we have it saved if any type of data that you have you need to reuse you save that in a variable all right the next thing is data structures and data structures <laughs> hold data obviously you can actually store values in data structures and you can store variables in data structures so a data structure can be assigned to a variable so let's just make a variable called data structure and let's make it, this is called an array. Array is a data structure. So if we had name, age, and is male in there, we now have a data structure with name, age, and is male. And if we take a look at what this outputs, we can come over to our terminal and run it. And this data structure is holding the values Chris, 21, and true, which we have right here, name, age, is male. So data structures are really cool because they can help you reuse a lot of data and hold a lot of data in there. And it can make for data to be easier to be fetched and reused and easier to look up and compare against other values. So don't think of data structures too deep. Just at a starting point, think of data structures as something to hold data. All right, so the next thing that we have is conditionals. And conditionals are basically a if or else statement so if age equals 21 output true if age else if age is not equal to 21 output false so what you could do is if age is equal to 21 we could console.log true else which that would mean if age is not equal to 21 we could console.log false and this is a conditional. Conditionals are really important because a lot of the programs you're going to be making, 99% of them are going to have conditionals in there because it is an easy way to have a, a ton of different outcomes and have different decisions for those outcomes that you have. So kind of think of conditionals as options. Basically, like I said, conditionals are a very good way to have a ton of different separate options for a ton of, bunch of different separate outcomes. All right, and then we have loops. And don't make loops too complicated. Just think of it as doing something a number of times. So for example, if we wanted to count from one to 10, we can make a loop that starts at one, and as long as it's less than or equal to 10, uh, increment i. So we could console.log i, and it will print one to 10 for us. And if we run this in the terminal, one to 10, prints one to 10, just does this loop one to 10 times. And loops are very important because it makes code reusable. And if you wanted to do something, say to a data structure, such as name, age, and is male, if you wanted to do something to that data structure and go through it a certain amount of times and do the same thing to every single piece of data in there, you could with a loop and it makes that really easy. And it makes not having to write something 10 times to print out one to 10, it just makes a simple loop and it prints out one to 10 for you. And the last thing is functions. And functions are going to be one of the most important pieces in your puzzle of a program. And why I say that is because in a function, it makes it really easy to reuse code whenever you want it again. 
So a function holds a body of code and it can contain all of these other things. And inside that function, we can put inputs and have it return outputs to you. So for example, if you wanted to add two numbers, you could input two numbers into the function and output the sum of those two numbers. So if we had a function add two and it took an X and a Y, those are inputs, then we could do return X plus Y. And then all you'd have to do to use this is call this function with one plus four. And real quick, let's just comment out this for loop. But basically, anytime you wanted to do this, let's console.log this so we can see it in the console. Console.log x plus y. And anytime you wanted to reuse this add to, you can use it with any inputs too. So let's use it with one to four and let's add two with three and five. Save that, and then if we would just run it in the terminal real quick, we output five, and then we output eight. So functions are very powerful, and they're going to help your code have reusability because you don't want to be rewriting the same piece of logic multiple times within your code because that makes it hard to read and it makes it sloppy. If anything in your code, just remember reusability is key. You do not want to repeat yourself. You want to have dry code. Don't repeat yourself. So basically, these five things right here wrap up all of coding. Don't think of it too deep. Think of it just as a basis and a structure for everything right here is going to be what makes up your programs. Boom. So basically we put all those working parts together and you have a program. So it's a lot simpler than people think. And obviously I didn't touch on everything and I didn't go super into detail, but those are really the five building blocks of programs. And if you know all of those, you can really start to make simpler programs. And it's not until you get more in depth and get into the languages, syntax and special things they have in the languages that you have to know more than what those five things actually accomplish and can do. All right. So I really hope that coding this helped you not scare you off and actually wants to make you get started coding and you know tackle that fear that you've had because you have thought in the past that you had to be really smart to learn how to code and that's really just not the case anymore especially with all the resources online thanks so much for watching guys if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will be releasing more content like this weekly thanks guys